I think it's very important to understand when you talk about sustainability, it's a balance between different uh, agendas or different pillars. Just like when you play with a Rubik's Cube, you have to have all the six sides to fit, and that's not easy, and it's not easy to work with sustainability uh, either. When Brundtland uh, invented uh, the term sustainability, uh, for her it was very important that there was a relationship between social so sustainability, economical so sustainability, a climate or environmental sustainability. And in, in real Danish context we add a cultural dimension because the old buildings, old architecture, things created earlier uh, is, is also very important to have in that uh, equation. It's better to take smaller and wiser steps holistically than it is to take one big step on one of the agendas and risking to, to make a drawback uh, on the others. And, and that way of, of talking about sustainability is for us uh, uh, very important. And in that matter, the SDGs are important for us. The way of working with, with, with the sustainability goals from, from UN and not consider them as being uh, goals for the head of states and for the UN, but goals for you and me. You have to do something, I have to do something, government, businesses have to do something, we all have to do something. Partnerships are crucial. If we work together, if we're trying to engage your knowledge, a company's knowledge, a government's knowledge, our knowledge, a researcher's knowledge, then we can solve more wicked problems. So partnership, working together, co-creation, whatever it's called, uh, uh, collective impact. There's a lot of names for similar things, but, but it's all about uh, working to be together and sharing knowledge. And here we're talking about uh, 10,000, 15,000 uh, highly professional people who work uh, with design and architecture. And if they work together with all the other kind of professionals in the built environment, that, that can be fantastic. And having them in Copenhagen, having them coming here, uh, sharing knowledge with each other, picking up knowledge from Denmark, giving knowledge to Denmark, that's fantastic. And after Corona and uh, some years without seeing people except on, on Teams and uh, Zoom, uh, it's going to be fantastic to meet so many engaged professional people who work with a dedication about creating better life for people.